friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it is Saturday so it's grocery haul day. I actually shopped at two stores, I have a big haul for you, got some killer deals and have some new food finds. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not because I do a grocery haul every Saturday and I do upload five videos every single week. Don't forget to check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized to you macros and calories. Highly recommend, this is how I've lost 140 pounds and maintained that weight loss as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for questions to chat with me directly or if you're looking for some accountability. Links, discounts to my favorite things and my Facebook group, come join us, we would love to have you, are all down in that description box. So let's jump in to the grocery haul. So for my groceries this week, I shopped at both Sprouts and Walmart and I have quite a big haul full of nice healthy food so let's jump in. We'll go ahead and start with Walmart because that's the smallest portion of my haul. So I did grab some 1% milk for Troy. You guys know how much he loves his cereal. So I saw apple pie spice and was like, ooh, that sounds good. I thought this would be a really good topper to oatmeal, yogurt, or protein ice cream, protein yogurt, protein pudding. So I had to pick that up to try it. And then I was also completely out of onion powder. Monterey Jack cheese, this is for a recipe. And Troy actually likes this cheese on his quesadillas and his tacos. And then this is one of my favorite cheeses. I love the reduced fat pepper jack. It tastes just like the full fat cheese. It's less points, it's less calories, it's less fat. Walmart is the only place I can find this, so I went ahead and picked up another pack. And then I needed some feta cheese for my lunch meal prep, and I am still on a salad kick, a major salad kick. So I like to put feta on my salad as well. Some saltine crackers because we were completely out and Troy loves saltine crackers on soup. And then I did need a pound of 99% ground turkey for a recipe and this one was on sale for $5.91. So whenever I buy reduced priced meat, I just make sure that I put it in the freezer or cook it immediately because there's usually like a day or two before it's at its sell by date. So this is, was a really good deal. It says I saved $1.67, so I think it was like seven-ish dollars, so that was a good deal. Slice almonds, this is for a couple of different recipes this next week, and this is another thing that I love on oatmeal, yogurt, anywhere I wanna get a good crunch. Light butter for Troy, you already know, this is Troy's all-time favorite butter. You also know that I only use regular full-fat butter unless I'm baking. If I'm baking, I'll use light butter because I'm cooking it down anyways, but if I'm putting butter on toast or pancakes, it's gonna be real butter. And then I wanted to try the G. Hughes sugar-free poppy seed dressing. I was debating between this one and the Skinny Girl for my lunch meal prep, and I decided to give the G. Hughes a try. Let me know down in the comments, have you tried this one? Have you tried the Skinny Girl? Which one do you like better? I'm really hoping this one is good. And then a couple of canned goods here. I have some petite diced tomatoes for a dinner recipe, and then I picked up some no sugar added cherry pie filling. This is another thing I love adding to oatmeal. I love adding this to protein pudding to ice cream in my Ninja. There's just a lot of really good uses for the no sugar added pie filling. What you don't see from Walmart is a case of Diet Coke for Troy and then a couple of eight packs of Gatorade Zero. Now moving over to Sprouts. Lots and lots and lots of yogurt. Sprouts actually has a better selection of Chobani Zero Sugar than even Kroger does. And these were two for three, which is cheaper than I paid last week at Kroger. This is my go-to yogurt and I'm still obsessed with my yogurt bowls. So I picked up a couple of the strawberry cheesecake, a peach. I actually hadn't ever seen that one. I did get the Madagascar vanilla, but this is for a recipe. Key lime pie and the black cherry, both of which are not available at Kroger. In the bulk section, I got my mango. This is dried mango. I count this as zero points because the macros and everything are the exact same as fresh mango. And this is just a quick, easy snack for me. And then I did get the dried ginger as well. I usually have a piece of this after a meal. It just really helps me with my digestion. And then I found these in the being discontinued section. So I've never seen these before. These are Good Sam, Be an Ally for Small Farms, dark, dark chocolate chips, no sugar added. The calories and everything are the same as Lily's. They has, have really, really good ingredients and they were on sale for $3.99. That's about half the price of Lily. So I thought, let's try these out, see if they're any good. Watch, they're gonna be amazing and then Sprouts is discontinuing them. But I thought for the price, it was worth picking up to try. And this is another thing that was in the clearance section 
collection for $2.99 and I thought I have to try that too. This is from the brand Blue Stripes. This is the whole cacao granola, peanut butter, and banana. It says made with the entire cacao pod. 15 vitamins and minerals and only 5 grams of sugar. It looks really good. It's 160 calories for a quarter of a cup, 10 grams of fat, 5 grams of protein, 3 grams of fiber, and nice clean ingredients. And you guys know I always put granola on my yogurt bowl, so I thought I wanted, so I definitely wanted to test that out. And then I picked up two huge packs of shredded, just plain breast white meat chicken. Yes, it's expensive, but it's really convenient. And if you didn't know, Lola usually gets a little sick after chemo for a couple days and doesn't eat. And she is continuing to lose weight when she weighs in at chemo. And we're a little concerned. So what I've been doing is a can of dog food with some shredded chicken and some white rice. And she's just been demolishing that. So she's getting in her calories that way. So one of these packages is for her. And then the other package is for me. I actually think I'm going to make a salad with this chicken today. I'll show you what kind of salad I'm going to do. The dill pickle. Kit. These were three for seven at Sprouts. It's one of my favorite chopped salad kits. So I think I'm going to make this up for Tori and I for lunch. And like I said, I'll just top it with some grilled chicken. That way I really only have to count points, calories, and things for the dressing because I do not count points and calories for non-starchy vegetables. So only the dressing, the croutons, the cheese, and then of course the shredded chicken, but that'll give me a big punch of protein in my salad. And then of course, no surprise to anybody, I picked up avocados because I'm still on a major avocado kick. I literally eat a whole one every single day. And then lots of produce. So I was excited to see this. It's Arizona local organic farmer's market salad mix. So it says that it's a mix of baby lettuce, chard, and spinach. It was only $5.99 for this huge bag. It's local at our farmer's market. So I was excited to support a local business and get a huge bag of salad for $5.99. I did pick up two small packs of raspberries because I love raspberries. You guys know I eat a lot of fruit, a lot of berries. A massive pile of zucchini. Now don't judge because number one, we love zucchini, but I'm actually doing two recipes that use zucchini this week. One of them you'll see in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. So stay tuned after the grocery haul for what's on my menus for dinner and what you'll see in meal prep. But I need lots of zucchini for that recipe and zucchini because we're making kebabs. We're gonna do steak and chicken and shrimp kebabs on our Blackstone Grill this week. So I also needed a sweet onion and a couple of red onions, a couple of lemons, one for my water, one for a recipe a mango for my lunch meal prep. I did go ahead and decide to pick up a big pack of whole mushrooms for the kebabs and then whatever's left over I'll just slice them up for salad. Also the mother load of bell peppers because I need bell peppers for a recipe and then we love a good red orange or yellow bell pepper on our kebabs. Bananas because I needed it for a recipe and I have been liking mixing a banana in my Ninja Creamy. Ice cream is a mix-in to add a little bit of sweetness, especially with the banana foster protein powder. So good. By the way, exciting news, that Ninja Creamy video will be out tomorrow. So make sure you're subscribed and your bell's on so you don't miss it. I also got the Wild Wonders tomatoes. These are freaking delicious. And this was $2.50. I like to put these on my salad. And then this was on sale for $3. I will definitely Definitely be eating this up in the next day or so. It's watermelon, cantaloupe, and honeydew melon already cut up, ready to go. And then last but not least, three one pound packs of strawberries because these were three for five dollars. That is an incredible, incredible deal for strawberries. And I actually need strawberries for my lunch meal prep. And then I love having strawberries just to eat as a snack. That's everything I picked up for the week from Sprouts and Walmart. Let's jump into what's on my menu for dinner and Monday's meal prep. So here's what is on my menu for the week. Today, Saturday is always an out to dinner day. I actually think we might order pizza today. And then tomorrow we're doing chicken, steak, steak shrimp kebabs on our barbecue. I'm really excited for that. Monday, I'm doing stuffed zucchini boat, hence the reason I bought out Sprouts zucchini selection. And you will see this recipe in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. Tuesday, Wednesday, we do leftovers. Thursday, we're doing a burrito night. And then Friday, we also do leftovers. That way we can finish up anything leftover from earlier in the week. And then here's what you'll be seeing in Monday's meal prep. So for breakfast, I'm making cherry oatmeal. Really excited for this. Lunch, we're doing a strawberry mango salad. Like I said, I've been on a major salad kick and strawberry mango salad sounds amazing. And last but not least, we're making banana walnut cake. Also sounds amazing. So stay tuned for all three recipes in Monday's meal prep. Thank you for joining me for this week's grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing everything I picked up for the week from Sprouts and Walmart 
and I hope you're excited for meal prep because I most certainly am. And if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Again, check out the description box for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, my Facebook group, subscribe, turn your bell on so you never miss a video, and I will see you in tomorrow's long-awaited Ninja Creamy video. Bye!